Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and in my hands I have the new OnePlus 3T, the upgraded model from the OnePlus 3. Now they also sent me some little extra goodies and stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and quickly unbox the OnePlus 3T, show off these little extras as well, and also talk about the differences between the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is the OnePlus 3T. Not going to take a long time unboxing this because it is so similar to the previous OnePlus 3, but uh, right away you'll notice pretty much the exact same build. The only difference is actually the gunmetal color that they have. So just kind of want to show off the difference. Here's the 3T. Here's the OnePlus 3, and of course they also include a bit of a screen protector on there for you. You can, have, you can keep that on if you'd like to. I'm going to go ahead and peel mine off right now so you can kind of just see that. And I'm also going to power on the device. Now, there is a bit of a price difference, so the 3T is going to cost $40 extra than the 3 uh, in terms of the 64 gigabyte model. There's also a 128 gigabyte model, which is what I have right here as well. And that's going to cost you an extra $40 on top of that $340. So inside, looks like you have your quick start guide, SIM ejection tool as well. Uh, OnePlus always does a good job at having some nice clean packaging. You'll see dash charge as well. Uh, looks like that's about it for that. And then, of course, you have your dash charger. Here is the AC power brick along with that uh, red and white cable. USB Type-C, of course, as well. And also a little note from the co-founder and that's pretty much it so one plus three t right here it booted up already and that's about it so before we get into the device i want to show off those little extra goodies one extra was a wood case one nice thing is considering they have the same design one plus three and one plus three t cases will fit on both of them because it is the exact same body on the device now you also see they also included their one plus i believe they're called bullet headphones um, and let's open these up all right and here's a close look at those headphones that are included it does have a little microphone clip here with a middle button and also volume up and volume down as well it also includes some extra little ear pieces as well if you want a little bit of a smaller one or a little bit of a larger one so definitely going to be trying these out this luggage tag was also included as well i'll show off probably what i'm going to attach it to in just a second with this little booklet that says OnePlus Lifestyle as well, gives some other various information. Also included a Dash Charge t-shirt for me. Maybe I'll wear this occasionally in a video or two. They've also included this messenger bag, so pretty cool of them to send that on over with this strap as well. I can also mention these uh, in my 3T review, which will come very soon, but it feels pretty premium. It has some nice compartments in there as well. It looks like a little, a little magnetic clip right there for another compartment and of course a zipper. Now just a couple things to make note of. You can use software buttons if you would like to. However, they do have a recent and back button that are customizable as well. Next, you can add double tap to wake. They still have all their gestures, uh, really nothing out of the ordinary and setup is complete. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, before I do anything, I wanna go ahead and show you how much storage is actually on the 128 gigabyte variant. So let's go ahead and go to storage and memory, storage and USB, and you'll see 1.55 gigs used of 113 gigabytes. So just kind of keep that in mind on how much is actually available out of the box. Now, one thing that's worth mentioning is the lens on the 3T actually has a sapphire lens now, so it should protect against scratches a little bit better than the OnePlus 3, but otherwise the cameras are essentially the exact same on the back. Now, something worth noting that the front facing camera actually got an update on the 3T, it is now a 16 megapixel front facing camera versus the eight megapixel front facing camera that is on the OnePlus 3. So just a little bit different. I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit better on the OnePlus 3T. I honestly don't take too many selfies. Now a couple other internal specs that have been updated, one of them being an addition of a Snapdragon 821 processor over the 820 processor, which should make performance just a little bit better. Now it does not have Android 7.0 Nougat at the moment. It is still on Marshmallow. However, I know they will be pushing it out Sometime soon, I will do a video updating you once that actually comes to the OnePlus 3 and 3T. Now, the display is the same. They both have 6 gigabytes of RAM, which is more than enough at the moment. Now, also, the battery is a little bit different. Now, the OnePlus 3T has a 3,400 milliamp hour battery versus the 3,000 milliamp hour battery in the OnePlus 3. So, kind of interesting that they have the exact same design, but the battery in the 3T is actually 400 milliamp hours uh, bigger, so you should get better battery life on the 3T. But overall, that's really about it. Everything I want to show off for now, I'm going to use as 
uh, for a little while and then compare it to the three in, a, in an upcoming video. So click that subscribe button. Make sure you are uh, subscribed so you're notified. That's really about it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, have a good day.